to the wrestling ring right now, ladies and gentlemen, the return of Mr. Wonderful, Paul Orndorff Bruno. That's right, Paul Orndorff. And I'm going to tell you something. When you, you talk about energy personified, that's Paul Orndorff. When, from the time that bell rings, this man is nonstop action. He is always in such tremendous, tremendous shape. He's just awesome in that ring. Well, Mr. Ricky Ataki, I'm afraid, not that I know that much about Mr. Ataki, but I'm afraid that he's going to be in for uh, one, one night of experience that he will not forget. Yeah, I think Mr. Ataki has his work cut out from this evening uh, uh, with Mr. Wonderful. You know, Paul might have taken off maybe 10, 15 pounds, but somehow he seems really hard. His body's really defined. And look at the speed, and look at the, uh, this, oh, beautiful duck, terrific, wow, terrific close line, and see what I mean, always moving, always moving, tremendous energy. <laughs> yeah, Taki seems to have uh, heard a funny bone there, and Paul just going out after him, and he uh, rammed him to the pole, Bruno. I tell you, Paul is a no-nonsense guy. I mean, he may be a fan favorite, but he'll go out there, and he can be rough, and he can be nasty, as Mr. Ataki's finding out right now. Yeah, I sure wouldn't want to be in Mr. Ataki's shoes right now. He looks like he's going to... You know, Orndorff always is stuck to when he wrestles, almost like a hangry man, like he's always really angry. Oh, you know what he just said you know, to the uh, fans? He's saying, hey, do you want me to give him the power driver? That's his, uh, that's his move, you know? And I'll tell you something else, Herb, when he does... Beautiful drop kick. Beautiful. Beautiful. I was about to say, when he does deliver that power driver, he does it like nobody's ever done it before. And when he does it, believe me, it's curtains for that individual. It, it sure is, Bruno. It's a reverse suplex here. Beautiful suplex. No, I don't think he's going to get him here, no. <laughs> well, he picked him up. He picked him up. Well, yeah. you know, I'm a little surprised at Paul, though. You know, it's not, you know, doing something like that. And, and look how pleased he is with himself that he that he picked him up and, and didn't pin him right there. No. Ah, knee to the midsection. Mm. Yeah, I tell you, I'd like to see a match between Orndorff and the beer. It's arrogance uh, and arrogance. I'll tell you what, it would certainly be a match, I'll tell you that. Uh, but right now, I'm... <laughs> Rick, <laughs> he probably paints himself. My Lord, what did I get myself into? Uh, well, I think he'd probably uh, rather be home in his hometown of Japan right mm. now. What is Paul going to do from that top row? Wild ball smash to the top of the head. Now he's setting him up right now for the power driver. He wants the fan approval, Bruno. Well, the fans want to see it. He's got it. Look at people standing up. They're all standing for him. Go ahead. And here it is. Come. Here it is. It's coming, wrestling fans. The Orndorff pile driver. Boom! That's it. That's history. Ataki is history. Yeah, well, no pun intended, but I think he Pearl Harbored him. Yeah. Thumbs up for Paul Orndorff, winner of this match. Wow, what is this, Bruno? No, no, what where is this? Come from? Dr. Death has entered the ring, wrestling fans. What business is it of Dr. Death to come in and interfere in this match? I think he came in to issue some kind of a challenge. At least I have to assume that. And Orndorff is saying, hey, guys, wow. you ready? I'm here. Let's go. Hey, and I got to tell you, Dr. Death thinks that this is a Davy Meltzer. He's wrong. Nah, nah, this nah, is nah. Mr. Wonderful. Right. Orndorff ain't going to back off. He's saying, hey, come on. You came in here to do something. Let's go at it. But right now, I see a lot of testing, but really no action. But look at the referee. We got pushed out of the ring. And he's that uh, referee is out. We got some. Oh, well, I think something's going to happen here. Somebody, there's already started a little push here. These two guys are really going to get into it. You watch. You watch. You're going to see a big battle right here. But look at the intensity level of these, of these, of these combatants here right now. Any second, you're going to see these guys attack each other. I mean, there's no love lost here either. This is a dream match. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Dr. Death just turns his, turns his way out. I don't believe that. I mean, he's the one. He was the one who came in the ring. Ah, uh, something. 